The video begins with men in military uniforms, who the Associated Press reported were the government's National Guard, arriving at Krasno or Maisk Town Hall. They'd come here to stop voting in the referendum on secession from Ukraine. When the crowd refused to leave, the men fired in the air. But then, as the video shows, some fired into the crowd. One man, seen here in white, was shot and killed instantly, and a second was wounded badly in the leg. Witnesses told VOA that after the first man's body was carried away, a third man threw a stone at the building. He was shot through the chest and died on the way to hospital. In the video and photographs VOA has seen, it appears that none of the men who were shot were armed. There is confusion about the identity of the men in the building, and the Ukrainian government pledges to investigate this shooting and others that have occurred in the weeks since pro-Russian activists took control of government buildings in several eastern communities. The following day, blood was still visible on the pavement, partly covered by flowers. The two men who died were identified as Vadim Khudiz and Yuri Mikhalenko. Zinaida Vlasilevna says she witnessed the shooting. There was one guy who went to the second floor and opened the window, and the people didn't even run away. They were not afraid. People were standing out there, and I was standing here shouting, shoot me, but not the kids. Maria Kolomoyets, a local shop owner, says she'd been trying to calm the situation down, but her husband told her to come home. I asked our boys not to interfere. You know they are hotheads. Because if you get a hole in yourself from a bullet, I won't be able to sew it closed. My husband called me when he found out I was here, and as soon as I went home, these killings happened. If I had been here, I wouldn't have let this happen. I would have covered them with my chest. I would protect those children. We are so unprotected. Nobody was armed. People only had pencils for taking part in the voting. The despair among people here over the spiraling violence is palpable. Maria says she was sure the vote on Sunday wasn't legitimate, but she genuinely believed it was the last hope for peace. It was the last straw. Our souls cried. For many people in this town, that hope has been dashed by bullets. Patrick Wells, VOA News, Krasnoyarsk, Ukraine.